Welcome back to Create It, Easter edition. The show where you create it and we rate it. That's right, you see last week our contestants were challenged to create some Rice Krispie sheep. And even though we had a little bit of an upset with an unexpected winner, we learned that we can have peace because of all that God promises. This week we're taking it up a notch. Today you'll be making some Easter baskets. The catch is that you're making them for one another. All right, so at your stations, you see the supplies that you have. You got some baskets, you have the name of the person that you're gonna create the basket for, and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna exchange baskets and give your gift to the other person. This is really gonna test how well you know your fellow competitors. So contestants, are you ready? All right, then on your marks, get set, create. I got Summer, but I, I don't know very much about her, and I don't know what she would like in her basket. I'm, I'm really worried about this. I don't know what to do. Um, it looks like everyone started putting their baskets together except for Keegan. Let's check in with Keegan if that's okay. Yeah. Hey, Keegan, how's it going? Uh, it's going okay, but I'm just, I'm a little bit worried. I don't know what to put in Summer's basket. Um, I have a story that might help you. Would you like to hear it? If it's gonna help, I'm all ears. Okay, in Luke 2, we read about the story of Jesus' birth. Wait, 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 wait a second. Like, you're talking like Luke 2, like the Christmas story? Like, how is the Christmas story gonna help Keegan with making his Easter basket? Let me explain. Okay, I'm curious to see how you're gonna connect this one. Okay, so as I was saying, in Luke 2, we see the story of Jesus' birth. Now, Jesus was someone that God had been promising to send since sin entered the world. But Jesus' arrival was not what everyone expected. Instead of coming as a ruler, he came as a baby. Instead of being born in a palace, he was born in a stable with animals. Instead of being met by the king and the priests, he was first met by some shepherds. God's greatest gift to the world didn't come the way the world wanted it, but how God planned it. Later on, in Luke 3, 21 through 23, we read, when all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven opened. The Holy Spirit came to rest on him in the form of a dove. A voice came from heaven. It said, you are my son and I love you. I am very pleased with you. Jesus was about 30 years old when he began his special work for God and others. You see, we already talked about how the people had waited a long time for Jesus to come. Now he was finally here, but again, they had to wait 30 years before he actually started his ministry. Again, God's greatest gift to the world didn't come when the world wanted it but in God's perfect timing. And when he was ready, he blessed it. You see, Jesus coming to earth was something that people had been waiting on, but God's plan and his timing were perfect. It may have been a little unexpected, out of the ordinary and even delayed, but for God, it was great. I get where you're going with this because God's perfect gift was perfect because of his plan and his timing. Like it didn't matter what people thought or even when people thought he was supposed to come. But what mattered was, was that God's plan was coming to be. Mm -hmm. And because Jesus was the perfect gift, it brought peace to all those who accepted it. So we can find that same peace too that God gives each of us. Yeah. That makes sense. And it actually gave me a really great idea for my basket. Thanks guys. Once again, the challenges saved through our storytelling skills. Ah, they're pretty great. But the real hero is God's word. You know, Aaron, we checked in with Keegan, but I think it might be time to check in with our other contestants before time runs out. I think you're right. Let's go ahead and check in with Abigail. Abigail, how's it going? It's going well. I'm just putting on my last few touches for Ke Keegan. I know he's gonna love it. I like the confidence. How about you, James? I think I'm doing well. I don't know what else to add, but I know that Abby's gonna love it. Mm, what do you think it's Summer? Well, I've got a lot of really fun things and a lot of candy, so I may have to scale back on a couple of things, but I know that James is gonna love it. All right, great job. Now we're gonna go ahead and have you guys present your baskets one by one to each other. So this is the basket that I have. It's got lots of candy, it's got Jesus, it's got a slinky, all these fun things because I know that He's just a very energetic person and I know James is gonna love it. Well, I know how much Abigail loves race cars. So I have a, a race car in there along with a couple stamps as well. Well, I had Keegan and I know how much he loves sugar. So I added some Rice Krispies and I added some Skittles and then I added this little sling thing. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, Summer, this is your basket. I had a little bit of a tough time at first, but Aaron and Celeste reminded me about God's perfect plan. And so I came up with a great plan for this basket about how Jesus is the greatest gift we've ever gotten. These were really great baskets and each and every one of you thought about your gift that you were gonna give each other. Yeah, but there could only be one winner of this challenge. Aaron, are we thinking the same thing? I think we sure are. Today's winner is Keegan. That's awesome. This really is an incredible basket and it helped to remind me about how Jesus can give us peace. 
Well, that's it for today's episode of Create It, the show where you create it and we rate it. We'll see you back next week as we jump into week three of the competition. Bye.